This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mumbunu. Leading presidential aspirants Raila Odinga and William Ruto have split up their teams as they seek to campaign across the country. The two have been leading their teams to rallies, but now they plan to assemble different small teams to be held by their key supporters, who include governors, MPs, aspirants and MCAs. Both sides are planning to hire choppers and cars to be used by their campaign teams as they hit the road and take flight. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Treasury CS Sukuriatani has said he couldn't resign to pursue his bid for Marsabit governor due to the crucial role his office will play during the transition from President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration to the next. The CS said he respects President Kenyatta, whom he owes a deep sense of gratitude for entrusting him with the position. The Treasury boss was touted as among key state officers that were expected to call it a day in the President Uhuru Kenyatta administration. The Ministry of Interior is seeking 8.9 billion shillings to fund security operations related to the August 9th general election. The details emerged when the Ministry appeared before the National Assembly's Security Committee to defend its budget proposals in the supplementary budget. Overall, the giant ministry has a budget hole of 31.3 billion shillings in the current 2021-2022 budget. High Court Judge Jesse Lasito on Thursday will consider the much-awaited verdict in the Willie Kimani murder trial, bringing to a close the high-profile case, which began in late 2016. Justice Lasito said she will give a judgment within the next 60 days, saying this is the longest case she has ever handled. She further said she has written more than 6,000 pages and it is the biggest file in her career. And Dr. Fred Ngeno has been working as a medical doctor, oscillating between Litane Mission Hospital and Mata Hospital in Nairobi treating patients. He was just 40, looking forward to more fruitful years ahead of treating patients and eventually retirement. It was not to be. A freak accident paralyzed him in 2020 from the neck down and he has been in and out of hospitals since. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.